this is my new favorite mount. It is the AM5, and perhaps my favorite feature of it is that it does not require a counterweight bar or any counterweights. So if you're traveling somewhere remote, like the edge of a volcano perhaps, you won't need to lug around all this heavy equipment with you. All you need is this five kilogram mount. It is jam-packed with lots of cool features that I'm going to showcase in tonight's video. I'm Damon Scotting, and this is Astronomical. So a telescope mount without a counterweight bar might seem a little bit suspicious. You might want to know what kind of witchcraft is going on. Well, this is a harmonic drive telescope mount and it doesn't require the counterweight structure that a typical telescope mount would. You are able to add a counterweight bar to it if you want to and that means you can increase the payload. By itself, the mount is a mere 5.5 kilograms which is easy enough to carry in your backpack. The mount alone can support a payload of up to 13 kilograms, but you can increase your payload up to a very generous 20 kilograms. Which is a tremendous amount of telescope weight. That means that you can mount your C11 Schmidt Cassegrain telescope on top of this mount, which is quite a hefty beast. It includes attaching a camera and a finder scope to that as well. But if you want to take things further, maybe you do want to step up to an even bigger telescope or add a second telescope on top and then a bunch of additional accessories, then very easy. You just screw in a counterweight bar down here and add on a couple of counterweights. So I like the fact that you do have the option to increase the payload, but even without a counterweight bar, it is capable of carrying a lot. Included in your purchase of the AM5 mount is a carry case, roughly a foot in length and width, which means from the get-go, you are ready to travel and transport your new mount. Take that, heavy-duty tripods. Hey, speaking of tripods, normally you would have to pay extra money to afford a tripod, but as of right now, ZWO and its suppliers are running a special promotion, which means you get that ultra-lightweight carbon fiber tripod included for free. Now this entire setup might look quite messy and that's because I've got loads of different things attached to it. I of course have the main telescope on top which is the FF80 from ZWO. It's a quadruplet refractor telescope and in the back just around here we have the ASI 2600 MC which is making quite a bit of noise right now because a large portion of this camera is actually a cooling fan and it's trying to reduce it now to minus 20 degrees Celsius where here on the edge of the volcano it's about 10 degrees Celsius, so it's got its work cut out. We want to cool it because we want to reduce the amount of hot pixels that turn up in our image. So by cooling our camera, we actually get a much cleaner final resultant image. So with all these things attached, it does mean that there are a lot of cables that you're looking at. But this is good. This means that even though the mount itself is very simplified, with just these four different inputs at the front down here, you can actually do a lot in terms of controlling it. So we do have four different inputs. The first one is the USB, which I have plugged into the ASI Air, which is the computer that just controls everything. To the right of it, you have an auto guide port. And then further right, you have HC, which stands for hand controller, which is this little joystick down here. And the last one is the power. That's it. It's very compact and also at the same time quite stylish, which isn't something you normally say about telescope mounts. I do like the red and black design of the mount itself and it goes along with everything else that ZWO produces. So if you do enjoy their equipment and want to put it all together like I have here in an all-in-one rig, then it looks quite aesthetically pleasing. The entire setup is by no means cheap, but it is arguably one of the most cost-effective professional travel astrophotography rigs on the market you get precisely what you pay for. I can change it to point to anything that I want in the night sky. So I'm gonna pan away from Polaris and I'm gonna look at something nearby. And would you look at that, just over here, we have M31, the Andromeda Galaxy. So I'm actually gonna pinch in and I'm gonna hover over it and press go to. And then just like that, the telescope's gonna to point towards it, but it's not just gonna go, yeah, I think it's about here, this will do. It's actually gonna plate solve your image immediately afterwards and figure out exactly where its location is. And I have to add that I'm very impressed by how quiet the mount is. We are in a location where it's so quiet it's almost scary. But if I put this mount onto the max speed setting and I start moving it, you can hear for yourself how loud it actually is. Which is very nice because for me and many of us who are backyard astronomers, we don't like to annoy our neighbors with the annoying whirring sounds that cause them to look out their windows and think, oh my God, what is that crazy man doing? And then the last thing I think I'm gonna talk about whilst I'm outside here is just the carbon fiber tripod that it's standing on. Now this is incredibly lightweight uh, and also compact. Yeah, I managed to fit the entire mount itself and the tripod legs in my carry-on. So it's very travel friendly. At the same time, setting it up every single night, this is the dream because it makes it so much easier. This is a very lightweight setup. Okay, so final verdict. 
The bottom line in terms of the AM5 mount is that it is simple. Everything about it is so straightforward. It can take Vixen and Losmandi dovetail mounts. It's controllable by Wi-Fi or by a heavily simplified rocker-style hand controller. Its guiding error is between 0.6 to 0.8, which is tiny. And although it is extremely portable and lightweight, it is still capable of payloads as high as 13 kilograms without any counterweight, which is just perfect. I'm sure if you've watched anyone else's review on the AM5 mount, you will have also seen that it is a well-loved mount and an instant favorite. So there we have it, the AM5 mount. I'm very impressed by it, and depending on your location on our planet, the price may vary slightly, but it should be about 2,000 US dollars, which puts it within the budget of people that are quite serious about this hobby. But I will say it's a very good investment if you like keeping things simple, but also being able to do a lot. Thank you very much ZWO for sending me this telescope mount and the rest of the equipment you see here. I'm gonna be doing reviews for all of these objects that you can see right here. I'm very impressed by this entire setup and the fact that I've been able to bring it all the way up here to one of the most remote locations on our planet is a testament to how durable, capable, and travel friendly this equipment really is. And it does pack a punch. Wait until you see the images that I've captured with this setup. If you'd like to purchase the ZWO AM5 mount for yourself, I've attached a product link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'm Damon Scotting, and this was Astronomical.